ولا يراها رأي العين سيغير شكل الكرة الأرضية. I see it with my eyes, a regional religious war that's going to burn everything. Now the world has an opportunity to prevent this war. All our resistance factions should be ready. Israel has just confirmed reports that it has killed a top Hamas leader in Gaza. In a statement, the Israeli military said the IDF killed three militants during military operations in Gaza and previously said it was one of those soldiers by the name of Yaakov. I see it with my eyes, a regional religious war that's going to burn everything. Now the world has an opportunity to prevent this war. All our resistance factions should be ready. Israel has just confirmed reports that it has killed a top Hamas leader in Gaza. In a statement, the Israeli military said the IDF killed three militants during military operations in Gaza and previously said it was one of those soldiers by the name of Yahya Sinwar. He is Hamas's top leader. He is believed to be one of the chief planners behind the October 7th attacks against Israel. This is a breaking story. So it's a long struggle, but it is a struggle not between Israel and Hamas, as I said, not even between Israel and Hezbollah. It's a struggle between uh, the West and this horrendous idea, which is the opposite of everything we hold dear, and its representatives today, which are today uh, Iran and its close alliance uh, with Russia, which just and this horrendous idea, which is the opposite of everything we hold dear, and its representatives today, which are today uh, Iran and its close alliance uh, with Russia. I would just as a footnote that we, our troops have now gone into these deep tunnels uh, in Lebanon uh, and that we're being prepared for his Hezbollah troops to come across the border and massacre our civilians. They have found the most sophisticated Russian arms in these in these trenches. <laughs> and the Houthi rebels, that Iranian back rebels uh, in Yemen have been fighting firing uh, hypersonic rockets at us, very fast rockets. Where do you think they get them from? From Iran, and where does Iran get them from? From Russia. And Since the Israeli enemy targeted all of Lebanon, we have the right from a defensive position to target any point in the Israeli enemy's entity. And the Tufan al-Aqsa, which was a part of the development of the operations to open the big war with the Israel, is a part of the war, because the war is a war. كبرى وكبرى جدا مع الاحتلال مم. ولا يمكن انك تاسس لمعركه التحرير باشعال الحطب انت تؤسس لمعركه التحرير بمعركه بهذا الحجم وبهذا النوع مم. واذا ربنا كتب are apparently now warning Israel it must boost humanitarian aid to Gaza within 30 days or risk weapons funding as i said this is just Apparently now warning Israel it must boost humanitarian aid. Allah يرضى عليهم اللي أطلقوا طوفان الأقصى لأنهم كتبوا السطر الأول في. Apparently now warning Israel it must boost humanitarian aid to Gaza within 30 days or risk weapons funding. As I said, this is just into our newsroom. It is a developing story. It's quite uh, stunning to see the U.S. threaten holding back weapons in the middle of Israel's fight for survival. Newsroom, it is a developing story. It's quite uh, stunning to see the U.S. threaten holding back weapons in the middle of Israel's fight for survival. Shalom, shalom, yashirala, all praises. And glory goes to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekak, Kudashim. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and citations to the leg men feeding the sheep of Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, and sincerity and truth through this great gospel that is coming out of our Bible, man, coming out of our Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. Right, the Lord has revealed the mysteries and the secrets unto his what, elect men, starting with the prophets and the apostles. And all we're doing is revealing it to the elect, right? Revealing to the elect. Now you know who the wicked is, because what is the spirit of the wicked? Death, destruction, right? These devils, right? That's the spirit that the Lord put upon them, because what they're being ruled by Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. I'm read this in the book of Proverbs 21 and 1. It says, The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord Yahweh, as the rivers of water. He turneth it whithsoever he will. I'm reading it again. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord as rivers as the rivers of water he turneth it whatsoever he will and what's the spirit he's putting in the minds of these rulers of this society war 
war, right? <laughs> you see what they're killing all these so-called Arab leaders, <laughs> Hamas leaders. Like they doing hits in, in um, Israel, hits in Iran, all around the world, right? Because what this devil's on a mission to set up this what? This new world order. They really think they're gonna set up shop in Israel and rule the world with everybody chipped and robots controlling and robots and stuff, right? <laughs> But that's not the future that the Lord set up, man. The future that the Lord set up is called the kingdom of heaven, which dwell, which is going to be ruled by Yahweh Shai, and the word dwelleth righteousness, not wickedness, because this kingdom is purely wicked, man, right? because guess what? These devils don't give a damn about no children, no women, right? They're hitting up everything just to get their agenda, right? Just to get their agenda. I'm going to read the book of John 10, verse 10. It reads, The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy, right? The thief, right? These Edomites come if not but for to steal, to kill and to destroy. And that's what we're seeing that been doing, right? They killed the Native Americans. They stole the land, they destroyed <laughs> the animals, the land, the water, everything, right? And they destroyed the culture to the point the people forgot who they were. Because at one time, our people knew that what they were Israelites, they were following certain customs. But guess what? They done disconnected from their heritage due to what the oppressor destroying them, right? Destroyed your mind, your spirit, and your societies, right? Esau then took over your societies. That's why the Bible said what the earth is what. The book of Job 9 verse 24, it reads, The earth is given into the hand of the wicked, right? The society, the earth. And they ain't just talking about, talking about every fucking place, right? Because these Edomites control even these um, heathen countries, right? Due to what? The setting up banks in their countries, right? The least said, man, just give me the power over their money and I don't give a fuck who the ruler, right? Paraphrasing. So we already know they control the banks. <laughs> they control the minerals. They control the planes coming in and out, the ports, right? They control the um, logistics of shit being traveled around the world. That's why these devils can shut things down. It says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Matter of fact, they got drones watching. They got satellites watching, right? If these devils want to get on demon time, which they're about to get on demon time, they're going to really shut things the fuck down and show you what, through the spirit of the Lord, because why the Lord controlling everything, right? It says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the face of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? We know the wicked is the Edomites. The wicked is the Edomites, right? Let me get go back to this. It says, Job 10 and 10, the thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill, right? What are they doing in Israel? They done stole the land. They done killed the people. And they're destroying everything <laughs> in their path to what achieve their goal, which is what? That new NW, that NW Izzo. That NW Izzo, right? That new world Izzo, where they are in full control, right? It says, the thief cometh not but for to steal and kill and to destroy I am come that they might have life, right? Under the, underneath the heathen, there ain't no life. It's just work, slavery, and um, nothing else, right? That's why you got 99 over 1%, because they, they ain't sharing a motherfucking thing. They ain't here to spread the wealth, right? They're here to take the wealth, right? It says, I am come that they might have life. Through the Lord, we're going to be able to breathe. We're going to be able to live. We're going to be able to provide for our families. We ain't going to be under the restrictions of Satan. You ain't going to be on the Title 4D, man, on child support and all these other different things that this devil don't put in your path for you to not make it in this society, right? It says they might have life, and we're going to be able to worship our power, right? We're going to be able to worship our power, and the Lord going to put the Spirit in us, man. In the New Covenant, it says they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly, right? Because we ain't got nothing in this society but what? Sorrows and pains, right? Sorrows and pains because we got the wicked in authority. The wicked is in authority, and that's the Edomites. The same people you see in Israel, the same people you see in Britain and France and Greece, right? <laughs> in Spain, right? These devils then took over the earth in South Africa, right? It says, Daniel 4, verse 17, this matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men. Who's in control over this society? Yeah, how about Shimei Awashai? It ain't these fucking politicians. It ain't these kings. It ain't these presidents. It ain't these dictators, right? They don't rule nothing. They're doing the orders, the spirit. They're doing exactly what they were controlled 
programmed to do, right? It says he, I'm going to read it again. It's the book of Daniel 4, verse 17. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and by the demand of the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to, to whomsoever he will and set it over the basis of men, the basis of men, these Edomites, all right? You watching these low lives and control and authority, right? right? And what did they use to do it? First, it was the sword, and after that, they're using their money, they're using their power, their strength. And then we're seeing their kingdom about to fall because what all these are the beginning of sorrows, all this shit leading to what World War III. I'm reading the book of Revelation 11, verse 14, it reads, The second woe is past. And behold, the third woe cometh quickly, right? Because it ain't been that long since World War II. It ain't been that long since World War II. And we see World War III is right at the doorsteps, right? The Americans are threatening to stop funding the Israelis, man. That's their right-hand homies, right? Right, the Americans are used to be under the order of the Israelis. But now they say, man, look, man, we're going to cut off funding. Why? Because they're looking like murderers and killers, <laughs> And anybody who's tied up to the Israelis, that's how you're going to be looked at, right? Because that's going to be the face of evil on the face of the earth, man, right? All these nations are going to turn on you Edomites <laughs> and you fucking Edomites, right? This says the second world is passing. Behold, the third world coming quickly, World War Three, and that's what we're looking forward to. Because that's good news for the elect and bad news for the people, the wicked people of this society. Matthews 24 and what we're going to start at 6. It says, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Right, we're seeing wars play out. We're hearing about rumors of war, Russia, America, Russia, Iran, Russia, North Korea. I mean, um, America, North Korea, America versus Iran, right? Russia making leagues and packs around the world, right? They cutting off the dollar, so we know war is coming. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but what the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence with all these dead bodies, all these, what happened in World War, um, in 1900s, early 1900s in that world first, well, I think it was World War One, right, a plague broke out from so many dead bodies, I think, I think that's what they were claiming, right, in one video, but we know it's the pestilence, it's the plagues of the Lord, it says, and there shall be famines, Right? What else comes with a war, man? Lack of being able to bring food into cities, right? <clears throat> how can these people go, um, how can these people um, continue in business when what war has broken out, right? Your, your businesses are going to turn into what? Weapon-making companies, right? They're going to be making tanks. They're going to be making um, armored trucks and bullets, right? That's what it's going to be changed to. It says, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. And we're seeing these things play out. All these are what? The beginning of sorrows. The beginning of sorrows because it's only going to get worse.